This is going to be a little video about DMT. I can't pronounce the name, put it here. But DMT is essentially this powerful, what's known as a spirit molecule or something that can really help you have visions and really profound experiences. Okay, It's actually produced naturally in the body, um, especially during the night. You know, we produce very, very small amounts of DMT. My problem is, right, with things like this, I've personally never tried it, okay, but with things like this, it's very difficult to have an objective experience of something like this without having heard experiences that other people have had. And what I mean by that is, say if there's a really popular outlet, like a big podcast or a big YouTube channel, and on that outlet, that channel, they, or the person hosting it, gives an account of their experiences with something like DMT or lucid dreaming or anything like that, right? By, by listening to that experience, you're going to populate your subconscious mind with the expectation that when you have that experience, it will be similar. And so that way, in that way, you sort of go into the thing, uh, you know, DMT, whatever, uh, you go into it with the expectation that I will experience something like this guy or, you know, whoever you've heard the story from. And I feel like especially with more sort of spiritual, personal things like this, like lucid dreaming, like DMT, like any, you know psychedelic or anything that could sort of potentially open your mind. If you take in too many other people's experiences and stories, then you're going to sort of take away from what you could experience if you just objectively tried it yourself without, you know, expecting anything to happen. Just objectively and with a critical mind, just tried something yourself and then see what happens to you. See what you actually experience objectively instead of relying on, oh, well, this guy said that I will see this particular thing in my trip or in my vision or in my dream. So then when you go into it, you expect that to happen and that changes your actual experience and usually it makes that happen. But my point is it could be a lot broader than that if you didn't have those expectations, if you just went into it with an open mind without thinking you already know what's going to happen. This is especially true with lucid dreaming, which is part of the reason I made this video, because DMT is one thing, but lucid dreaming is fairly similar, but also another thing. So. A lot of people go into lucid dreaming after having heard or read stories about the sleep paralysis demon or about being trapped in a lucid dream or you know feeling like they're being crushed or whatever it is so and then by going into it with those expectations what happens is they actually change the experience that they would have had um, because they expect the things to happen for example they expect to have a nightmare or they expect it to be scary and so that actually then does happen and what this does is it creates a whole sort of community of people that are experiencing this thing, you know, for example, lucid dreaming, but they aren't experiencing it objectively and their experiences are being tainted by other people's stories. So with any of this stuff, just go into it with an open mind. Don't expect anything particular to happen and just see what happens to you because you're going to have a much more personal and, you know, profound experience than if you think you know what's going to happen already.